For today's tennis generation, Pete Sampras personifies greatness. Some claim Sampras is the greatest ever, or at the very least, the greatest of the modern era, the last 25 years. And while others might dispute that claim, there is no disputing his ranking as world's number one, something Pete plans to be for a record sixth consecutive year. One of my main goals this year uh, was, was to try to break the record. <clears throat> and obviously I didn't do myself any favors with the first four months of the year when I wasn't playing that well. Um, but after winning Wimbledon and now the U.S. Open coming up in a couple weeks' time where I didn't do well last year, it's a chance for me to really uh, gain a lot of points and hopefully end this year number one. A year he finds himself chasing tennis immortality, but at times has looked all too mortal. Unfortunately, I haven't been too consistent this year, but Wimbledon was definitely a, a huge confidence booster. Um, so I'm going to do whatever I can over the course of the next four months to try to end the year number one. Of course, Wimbledon remains his greatest glory. He's won it five times. This year's win, putting him within one win of Roy Emerson's record of 12 Grand Slam titles in a career. And while that's certain to place Pete among the greats, modesty prevents him from pondering what place. It's hard for me to talk about myself in, in today's game and, and being uh, in the history of the game. I mean, it's uh, something that uh, I'm not comfortable talking about, you know, my place in history. I mean, I just, uh, just try to, um, you know, it's up to the tennis experts to decide that and, and whatever, but um, I'm obviously just worried about my tennis and what I'm trying to do and, and trying to get better. Um, and when it's over, it's, it's over. I'll look back and I'll appreciate what I've done much more when I'm done. But now it's, uh, it's hard for me to talk about. I mean, um, you know, there's only a couple things left in tennis that I can do, and, and that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.